The TGR was in operation from 1876 when it started operating into Arima and it closed on the 20th of December 1968. When I was a little boy, maybe three, four years old, I would spend my time watching the trains go by and it was sort of there is where my passion for trains really began. Always wondering where were they going to, you know, who was driving, who the people that worked on the railway. I always wondered these things. Seeing all the different uh, passenger trains going by, cane trains, the oil trains and so on. And it sort of fueled my imagination, you know, it sparked an interest which has really been lifelong. The TGR was introduced while Trinidad was under British colonial rule. However, that was not the first railway in Trinidad. The first railway or tramway in Trinidad was built by William Eccles and it ran on his Lesefort estate, which was on the northern banks of the Sapero River, just south of San Fernando in the Naparimas. Before the coming of the railways and before you could take a steamer between Port of Spain and San Fernando, if you wanted to do that trip by land, it would sometimes take you two days having to cross rivers, especially the time of year, if, if the weather was bad, it could even take longer. The railway was very important, you know, in, in establishing movement and communication between all the small districts and everything coming into Port of Spain. It also has to be remembered that the railways actually built all the roads. Because if you look at the railway coming out of Port of Spain, it went as far east as Sangre Grande. Okay, so that was the end of the line going east. Going south, the line got to San Fernando first of all, then it continued on to Separia, so that was the, the southern extent. If you want to go to the central part of Trinidad, it eventually reached Rio Claro in the center of Trinidad. Those were the main lines, and then you had another branch line between Marabella Junction and Princess Town. The first line into Arima was very successful. In fact, when the Arima line opened in 1876, they estimated that each inhabitant of Arima would ride the train six and a half times per year. The objective was to go south, go through the industrial heart of Trinidad and Tobago, through all the sugar estates, all the sugar growing areas, get down to the south and have the second town of importance, San Fernando, as being on the railway map. And eventually everyone wanted a railway station in their town. And of course, you can see today where the lines ran because all the villages came up along the line. Most of the villages you see along the southern main line and into Tabakit and so on all gained importance after the coming of the railway. There's not a lot left today in Trinidad because the, the railway, of course, was scrapped after 1968 and taken up in the 70s. For me, the most important thing is to preserve the locomotives that are still around. I think that if we were able to restore all those engines cosmetically, then we could have something that is very important for the tourism of our country and something that's historic in its own right. Thank you.